Thank you. Uh, so, uh, yes, as you can probably guess from the title, I'm not, uh, not talking about homotopy type theory. I'm not going to mention uh, cubes, paths, or the yeah, identity type. Uh, but well, I, I hope you'll enjoy it anyway. It's type theory anyway. Um, so, as you probably know, the W types are gen very general form of uh, inductive types in, in, in Martin Luther type theory. And, uh, well, they are quite important and uh, useful for several things. Uh, they are uh, they're essential for access models of Caesar Arkin type theory, for example. And uh, there is generalizations of it to, to the setting of algebraic theory. And recently, uh, uh, Andrews Wong has also used a sort of generalization of this. Uh, uh, w types to, to construct uh, algebraic refactorization systems in, uh, uh, well, in perceived categories and more general ones. Uh, and well, I'm sure they, they have other uses that, that I'm not aware of. Um, so the, um, uh, uh, the, the aim that it would be nice to have is uh, um, uh, it's a uniform way to, to construct these W types uh, uh, for uh, well, the, the Setoid model in, in fashional Martin Luther type theory, uh, but in, in a way that uh, 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 it can also be stated for, for general um, uh, categorical portion completions, uh, not just the, the Setoid construction itself. Um, so the point is that the current approaches don't really fit this, uh, uh, these requirements. Uh, well, if you, I mean, uh, of course, if you have an elementary topos with the natural numbers objects, uh, uh, can, can construct this uh, W types, but accepting, of course, is interdicative. Uh, uh, then uh, Ben Vandenberg has given a construction, uh, like a predicate version, uh, of the above construction in, uh, uh, in any exact completion of a, uh, of a category with finite limits. Um, but uh, in order to apply this to, to the Setoid construction, we need to assume UIP in the underlying type theory. So this also doesn't fit really well with intentional type theory. And uh, more recently, uh, Eric Palmgren has given a construction of the W types in, in the in the Setoid model in intentional marking of that theory. Um, but, uh, well, his construction uses uh, the recursion of the W type into the universe. Uh, so this is not directly uh, uh, usable in a categorical setting with, where perhaps we don't have a notion of universe necessarily. Uh, uh, by the way, this, uh, uh, this constru construction has been also uh, uh, adapted by a student of Midley, Luca Bressan, uh, to the Minimalist Foundation um, in his master thesis. Um, so, yeah, this is basically the current uh, state of the art, as far as I know. And, uh, well, we can start maybe just uh, looking at the rules for W types. Um, <coughs> So this is the formation and introduction. Uh, you can derive the elimination by yourself. Uh, mm, so we can understand this, sorry, these types as uh, uh, lab-led well-founded trees uh, in the sense that the, the type A gives uh, the uh, labels for the, for the nodes. I hope you can say this. Um, and then, uh, over each element, over each node, we have a dependent type of branches given by the family B. And uh, what this function is doing is telling us how to uh, paste uh, other trees to these branches of this. Uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, basic uh, component of the tree. So here we might have 
if this is the branch B, then these three is f of B, um, so on, or B prime, we have f of B prime. And these trees themselves, they, they are built in this way. And uh, yeah, the, the inductively defined construction uh, gives uh, uh, well-founded trees. And uh, another way to, to understand these uh, types is uh, uh, as free term algebras on a single sorted signature. Where now we, we understand the, the, uh, the type A as the set of function symbols, <coughs> and then the family gives the arity for each symbol. And uh, uh, this function here, they, they just tell us how to uh, compose the, uh, the various terms into, uh, the, uh, into a given uh, function symbol. And, and in this way, uh, we, we get all possible uh, terms of the signature. Um, so the, there is a, a semantical uh, or categorical uh, analog of these uh, uh, W types, uh, which was, uh, uh, well, the, the association was made by uh, Murdoch and Palgren, um, and it consists of initial algebras for these polynomial endofunctors which uh, in the internal language of a locally Cartesian closed can be described in this way. Um, so uh, then an, an algebra for this kind of uh, functor is just taking a pair like this of an element here and the function and returning an element in x. So you see the similarity with the constructor uh, for the W type. And uh, um, then we can say that this category C has W types if it has initial algebras for polynomial and the functors. Uh, uh, so the correspondence actually works uh, as it is uh, in, in for, for extension of type theory. Um, and uh, there is an observation, uh, it's a lemma by, by Lambert, which tells us that the, uh, the algebra map for an initial algebra is, is an isomorphism, and this also has a uh, corresponding uh, result in that theory where uh, you can prove that this uh, subconstructor is an equivalence and I will denote the, the two components of the inverse as n for names and b for branches so this maps every uh, three to, to the level of the uh, bottom nodes uh, well, this one is, is returning uh, the, the function b that tells us how the uh, uh, how we pass together the, the other trees, or well, how we can use uh, the induction step. Um, right. So uh, so then the aim is to construct this. Uh, uh, even a polynomial and the functor for a given function in, in the category of setoids uh, to construct an initial algebra for this, uh, for this functor. So uh, let's review briefly what I mean by setoids. Uh, so in, in Martin in, in <coughs> martin type theory, you can define an E category of uh, small setoids given a universe. Where by E category, I mean uh, a thing that has a type of objects and a setoid of arrows, where a setoid is a type together with an equivalence relation on it, like uh, these two guys, uh, and well, we also have a proof that uh, it's an equivalence relation, of course. Uh, and the uh, so the arrows themselves, they are pairs are given by uh, uh, a function term between the two underlying types, and a proof that it preserves the to the equivalence relation on the two setoids. And then you say that two such functions are equal if they are uh, pointwise related with respect to the, uh, to the equivalence in the colony. Uh, and uh, so in this context, the, uh, we can look at uh, an extensional function, which I will denote as the two 
uh, as this double arrow. Um, and uh, so perhaps I should tell you here by this BA, I mean the fiber over A of this function. Uh, and in, uh, uh, in the setoid category, this means uh, considering this, uh, this family here, which is indexed over A. So it's a type of all B uh, which are mapped to A. Uh, with this uh, equality, where we just forget about the proof uh, that FB is actually equal to A. And it turns out that this is a proof irrelevant family in the following sense uh, that uh, for each equality in, uh, in A, we have a corresponding morphism, which is actually an isomorphism, uh, between the two fibers. And the isomorphism does not depend on the proof that we consider, and moreover, uh, over the, the um, over any loop, if you want, uh, is, uh, uh, is actually the identity function. Um, and yeah, so the point is that these families are proof irrelevant, and actually any proof irrelevant, any proof irrelevant family uh, uh, arises as, a, uh, uh, as the fibers of an extensional function. Uh, so we just take the sigma of this and the projection, and, uh, and we check the, uh, the equivalence. Uh, so what we'll do, instead of looking at uh, fibers of extensional functions, we are considering uh, proof irrelevant uh, septoid families. Uh, this simplifies a bit the notation. Uh, so this then is the form of a polynomial functor in, uh, uh, in the category of septoids, where this is the septoid of arrows uh, from the fiber into x. And, uh, and on, on this guy, well, this guy should be a setoid itself. And uh, so we give it this equality, where a pair given by an element in A and a function uh, is equal to another one if uh, the two elements in A are equal themselves. And, well, that's pretty natural. The two functions are equal uh, up to the uh, transporting uh, isomorphism. Um, right. Um, so uh, now it's uh, uh, it's pretty natural to consider as uh, underlying object uh, or candidate underlying object for our initial algebra the W type constructed on the two underlying types of the setoids involved. Uh, by by being out, I mean the uh, the underlying type of, uh, so the family of uh, underlying types of this setoid family. Um, and moreover, we want the, the soup constructor uh, to be an isomorphism uh, because of Lambert lemma. Uh, so it's natural to consider this, uh, this equivalence relation on, uh, well, which is actually a partial equivalent relation on this type, uh, uh, on this W type, uh, where we want, uh, well, we want an isomorphism between the W here and this guy applied to W. So that means that we want two things in the W type to, to be equal if and only if the corresponding things here are equal. And this amounts to say this that there is a, a, a equality between the two names and an equality between the two functions, the two branching functions, up to the uh, transporting uh, isomorphism. And now if you unfold this, uh, since this equality is the uh, pointwise uh, equivalence relation in the codomain, the codomain is W, uh, so we get this uh, type here, where by this, uh, this should look familiar. Uh, it's uh, uh, basically it's the analog of the uh, of the path over another path. Uh, so it's basically so you transport to the first element.
and you ask if it's equal in the fiber of the second element, in the second element. Like this. I hope you can see it. Um, right. So, uh, now this of course is uh, it's not a definition by itself, because we're mentioning the, the equi uh, equivalence relation on W on both sides. Uh, but it's, uh, uh, so these are subtrees of this, uh, so uh, it makes sense to, uh, to see this as an inductive definition over the W type. Um, um, but yeah, so if you, uh, if you want to define it just using the, the W types, uh, the most natural way is to just uh, take the universe and eliminate into the universe uh, using this, uh, this data and the recursion principle for the, for the W type. Uh, but as I said before, uh, we want to avoid these constructions using universes. So uh, one solution is to use instead these dependent W types, which were introduced by Peterson and Sinek uh, uh, at the end of the 80s, I think, uh, which basically are like indexed uh, W types. So uh, what happens is that so these x and y are like the a and b before, but we are adding adding a type of indices uh, over which they depend. And moreover, we are also adding this d, which is a sort of re-indexing uh, function. So what is happening here is that every, uh, every tree has its own index. So here, say i, and uh, so and the, the sub constructor, the, the d sub in this in this case, um, is is taking a. So you see here, for every branch, is taking a, a, a tree in a, in a different over a different index. So. Uh, uh, every uh, every element in the image of G has uh, potentially a different index than, than the others, according to, to what the function D is telling us. The function D is uh, is a data to the, to the type itself. Uh, so basically, over the, the branch B, so this now this family also depends on I. Uh, so this f of B. Is uh, uh, is over the index d i a d, and this other f b prime is over d i a d prime, and so on. Um, and uh, yeah, you can uh, you can regard them as uh, now again as a free term algebra but on a, on a multi-sorted signature where the, the sorts are given by the new type of indices i uh, and well then it's basically as before you have for every for every sort a set of uh, function symbols whose codomain is uh, 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 is an element from here is of this sort i uh, and this is the set of arities uh, for uh, uh, for the function symbols, and this guy here, this re-indexing function, uh, I call it D because it's basically specifying the sort of the domain of our function symbol. Um, so, uh, yeah. And then you have again that functions of this shape are like the compositions instructions to put together uh, already given terms into uh, into a new one, and uh, and this dependency is uh, taking care of the uh, of the fact that the, the terms you're given should match the sort of the function symbol 
you want to apply to them. Uh, right. So uh, using this dependent W types, uh, we can directly define the partial equivalence relation uh, that I mentioned before. So we take as, uh, as index the pairs uh, uh, of, uh, of elements in the W type. Uh, that makes sense since we want to define a relation over, uh, over this guy. And then the, uh, the nodes of our tree will be the proofs that the, um, the names of the two trees are equal. And then the branches will be the, uh, well, the set of uh, elements in the, in the branches of the two trees which are equal over the, the proof of equality we considered before. So we want to make sure that uh, for each of these pairs we get the corresponding trees built over them, uh, attached to them, uh, to be also uh, equal. And this is specified by this re-indexing function. Uh, and then you put all together with the, uh, with the dependent W type constructor. Uh, then you need to, to, to take out from the type of, uh, from this W type, only uh, those in the domain of the partial equivalence relation, of course, the extension of W types, if you want. And then the actual equivalence relation will be just the, uh, the partial equivalence relation uh, on, the two, uh, on the two W types. Uh, so now you see that uh, to have a proof of this, uh, of this equality is precisely uh, to, uh, to have a proof that two names are equal and a function which for every pair of elements equal over the previously given proof, the two, uh, uh, the two trees attached to the, to the two branches are also equal. Uh, and these proofs are given precisely by the names and branching function associated to the dependent double type. Uh, so in this way, uh, we, we can avoid the construction by recursion in the universe. Uh, well, then the, the algebra map is, uh, uh, well, it's very simple to construct. Uh, you just repair the, the things. So given an element here and uh, an extensional function here, uh, you take the soup. So this, what we want in, uh, in W is, uh, uh, is a pair given by an element in the W type and a proof that it's uh, extensional. So the, the, w, the element in the W type is given by the soup constructor and the proof of its extensionality is given by the D sub constructor <coughs> applied to the reflexivity on A and the proof of extensionality of the function K here. And then you can prove that this function is itself extensional uh, uh, basically uh, by applying the D sub constructor again on, on a proof of equality in this, uh, in this big set of here. Uh, yeah, so alpha is a proof that A equals A prime and psi is a proof that uh, K equals K prime. So you can uh, put them together and apply the DSU constructor to that. And this will give a proof of equality between the, uh, this guy and the corresponding guy applied to the other pair. Uh, so now we want to, given another algebra morphism, we want to get uh, uh, another extensional function here, such that these square commutes, and then we want to prove that it's unique. That's the initiality. Um, now, to do that, the, uh, uh, the, there is the set theoretic approach that was the one uh, implemented by, by Eric 
uh, in, in Koch and then adapted by Bressan to the minimalist foundation, which consists of constructing the subtree relation and the satoid family of subtrees of all possible subtrees of a given tree, again using recursion in the universe. Uh, and then you want to show, uh, so basically you want to use a sort of set theoretic uh, transfinite induction. Uh, uh, so you want to consider this family of all the expansional functions out of a specified subtree that satisfy uh, this, uh, this equation. Uh, so basically this equation is the is the commutavi commutativity of, of this diagram applied to the to the subtree uh, of of W. So it's like having <coughs> Like saying we want to those q those sorry those k that make this diagram commute, uh, yeah, and uh, so you want to show that this uh, relation on uh, uh, on on w is uh, is progressive, so that you can conclude that for each w uh, it's this type here it's inhabited uh, by some term. Uh, of this, and then you define the uh, a general function out of uh, of W by using the same technique, uh, and then uh, you you unfold all the constructions to uh, to put, to prove that the, the function you define in this way is extensional, and that makes the square commutes. Uh, this is not as trivial as it may look uh, a place to do in Koch. Uh, and then you show that it's unique by recursion. Finally, you use that again uh, by recursion on the on the W type. But uh, yeah, so this and this last step are the only two where you actually use the, the recursion principle of the of the underlying W type. Um, so what we can do instead, since we use the dependent W types once. Uh, we can use them again, but uh, let me first observe that uh, if we, uh, since we want to avoid the, uni the use of the universe, uh, of the recursion in the universe, we cannot define the, the subtrees, the family of subtrees. Uh, so we need to stick to the family of immediate subtrees, which is defined in this way as the image factorization of the branching function. Um, and uh, now, if we only consider immediate subtrees, of course, we can't use this uh, this technique again because the immediate subtree, the basically because this uh, uh, this relation is not transitive. So the immediate subtrees of an immediate subtree is not the immediate subtree of the tree you started with. Uh, it's just a subtree, not immediate. Um, so what we do instead. Uh, uh, is uh, uh, like a single recursive step per time, uh, so that in some sense, uh, if you are given uh, a family of extensional functions, watch one for, for from each uh, setoid of immediate subtrees. So for subtrees of these and subtrees of these and subtrees of these, uh, sorry, immediate subtrees. Uh, you want to descend one by, by one step to define uh, uh, an extensional function on the immediate subtrees of the, the, the global tree. This is the idea. And uh, you can do that. That's not difficult. Uh, uh, 
and you, you use a modified version of this technique, basically. It's not that different. So the, the function is defined in this way. You map, uh, so given this family Ks of extensional functions on immediate subtrees of immediate subtrees of W, you map an immediate subtrees of W uh, into, the, uh, into the pair of, in this set of given by the name of the, uh, uh, of the immediate subtree. And here uh, you take the, the function you're given. And then given this, you go back to C by applying the algebra map T that is given. The only thing is that to, to ensure the extensionality of this assignment, you want uh, this uh, family of Ks to be natural in some sense with respect to the equality of immediate subtrees. So if you have two uh, equal immediate subtrees, you want these two, uh, so this diagram to commute, which is a really natural requirement. Uh, so in this way we can do this uh, one step construction and uh, now we want to just use induction on the underlying W type and uh, like applying this one step induction uh, uh, throughout the, the whole tree to get uh, an extensional function out of the setoid of immediate subtrees uh, without any further assumptions except this algebra map, of course. Uh, but uh, we can do that uh, uh, like in this way, uh, simply because we don't know whether uh, the, uh, the function we get out of the inductive hypothesis are, again, extensional. And what we can do is, uh, as I said, uh, use, again, dependent W types to define uh, the type of recursively defined functions out of an uh, immediate subtree. So now the, the index type is given by a pair of a W type and an extensional function out of a, the immediate subtrees of, a, of that uh, tree. And uh, yeah, then you take the, uh, the pair given by, uh, so you want to say that the function here uh, is obtained by applying the, the previous uh, one step uh, construction. So you want to, to say that there is a family uh, that satisfies the previous naturality condition and this KW is obtained by applying this recursive step. And then you want to say that each of these KS is also uh, defined by applying this recursive step and you, that, you do that by uh, using this reindexing function and mapping uh, all these data uh, into uh, into the subtree or into a subtree of W and the KS itself. Uh, so in this way, what you can prove by induction on W is that there is this function that satisfies uh, uh, this uh, uh, this condition. So there is a function which is recursively defined in the sense that it's obtained by the recursive step and all the functions used in the recursive step are obtained by a recursive step and so on. And uh, so you use the, uh, then the wolf as here to, uh, to prove the, the statement. Uh, so actually you, you straighten the, the, the conclusion and it becomes provable. Uh, that's because we want to use the inclusion in induction, of course. Um, right, and once you have this, uh, then it's almost done, because then you can prove that the recursively defined functions are unique, as you would expect. So if you have two equal trees, then, and both of them uh, uh, have functions which are recursively defined, then the two functions are equal up to the transport of this uh, over this equality um, and uh, yeah oh sorry forgot a parenthesis here um, then uh, you just need to, to go one step 
uh, further down from immediate subtrees to, to the actual uh, W type. And you do that uh, by applying, uh, again, this uh, DSA construction here. Uh, so you map it to the pair of the name and uh, the function given by this lemma. So you know that for each W you have a function here. And you use that and you give it as an input to the algebra map over C. And well, you get your function from W to C, uh, which is extensional. Um, and then you can prove that a function from W to C, extensional, uh, makes the, the square commute if and only if uh, the restriction of this H to each setoid of the immediate subtrees is recursively defined, and moreover H is obtained uh, uh, applying this construction to the restriction of H to the immediate subtrees. Uh, which is like to say H is obtained as a further recursive step from these restrictions. And from this lemma, you automatically get uh, both the commutativity of, uh, of this function HC, because it satisfies this, uh, these two conditions, and the uniqueness of this HC, because if you have any other function that, uh, that makes this commute, then you know that the restriction satisfies this, you know that this uh, 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 this implies the uniqueness, uh, so you have that all the uh, all the restrictions are equal, uh, and moreover they are obtained applying the same construction to the restrictions. So you get uh, so you get the the, the initiality of uh, of this S uh, for the polynomial function. And uh, yeah, so this proves the uh, the, the existence of the uh, of the W types in the category of setoids uh, without uh, uh, without using the recursion into uh, into the universe without using UIP, and uh, in fact uh, uh, we can actually get. Uh, the dependent W types in Setoid because of our result from Gambino and Highlands, uh, which tells us that in any locally Cartesian category, if you have initial algebras for uh, polynomial functors, mm -hmm. then you get initial algebras for dependent polynomial functors, which are the semantic analog of the dependent W types, as you can imagine. Uh, so basically, what we do is that we start with dependent W types in the underlying type theory, and we get dependent W types in the Setoid model. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a bit different than getting W type out of W types. But, uh, but the point is that uh, uh, I think that this kind of argument is easier than to formulate in, in purely categorical terms. So, uh, one thing will be uh, to generalize this to the, to the homotopy exact completion of Vandenberg and Murdoch starting with a path category with, uh, uh, well, with a notion of homotopy dependent W types. Uh, and I, I think that you can just simulate the same argument into the path category to, to show that the homotopy <coughs> has, uh, has dependent W types itself. Um, then, uh, yeah. One question, given this result by Gambino and Highland, one question that you may ask uh, is that if you can construct the dependent W types from the W types in the type theory. So you, we, we know that we can do that in extensional type theory, uh, but uh, I don't know about the intentional one. Uh, uh, I know that Christian Sattler has done some work on this direction. Uh, perhaps he proved that. Uh, it was for homotopy W types. Okay. Uh, but crucially, also without universes, because, like you said, with universes, you can do one of the strategies. Yeah, right. Um, and 
Yeah, then, I mean, more generally, with the dependent W types, we can uh, just uh, recursively define predicates and construct types over the inductive types. And uh, so perhaps we can use this in other ways. Other ways. Uh, uh, one thing you can do, for example, is, is to construct the, the bi-simulation relation on, on W types without using recursion in the universe. Uh, but uh, maybe you can do other things. Um, uh, I still don't know. But uh, yeah, that's it. Questions? Comments? Income? How essential is the restriction to the map determining the polynomial factor being proof in Ireland? Uh, well, it's, uh, uh, I think it's pretty essential, I mean, for, for this kind of argument. Uh, if you don't want that to, to be proof irrelevant, then you need to, to start to consider a lot of coherence, uh, uh, coherence terms on, on, on higher levels, and it becomes more complicated. Uh, can I be clear about something? Um, this is for the category. The, oh. the E category of set diets. The E category. Yeah, so you, you, you have a type of. Oh, it, uh, so basically, the, the, uh, the meta theory is Martin Leuf, intentional Martin Leuf that theory. Inside this Martin Leuf that theory, you have a universe and you construct the, this E category whose type of objects. Or it's basically the, the universe itself uh, together, uh, so are the, sorry, the types of the universe together with the small equivalence relations. When you say E category, you mean yeah, I mean that you that you have a setoid of arrows, not a type of arrows. Right. So, so essentially, we're, we're doing this in something which is at a kind of superficial level. Like a kind of enriched scattering theory. Uh, right. Because e, an E category in that sense is not a formally end, but essentially it's like that kind of thing. So is it, is it, is it clear that the notion of W type? I mean, I'm thinking of what the code is. Mm -hmm. Is it clear that the notion of W type is exactly right? In uh, that setting, because yeah, I see, I see what you mean. This is a yes. co-limit, so it should be a co-limit in the sense of the enriched category theory, in some sense. And uh, so, is it absolutely clear that what you're constructing is? I, I mean, well, I, I, I believe that uh, in the type theory, this is exactly uh, what it should be. Then perhaps if you look at it from, from the outside, it's something different. But from within the type theory, I mean, for, for an E category. For example, when you say in, initial, you mean for every algebra that exists a unique. Yes, yes. I mean, that, that's precisely the, the statement. Yeah, exactly. uh, it means unique uh, up to the equality of the E category. So, uh, I mean, you, you have a notion of equality on, on the type of arrows, and you use that notion of equality to, to express uniqueness, to express commutativity, to, I mean, that's the equality uh, you, you want to consider in the category. E and you, you don't look at, sorry? It's an E category of P algebras. Yeah, that's right. Yes. So you don't want to talk about the, the uh, other form of uh, identities in that sense. Um, so the definition of this E category, you have a separate of objects, right? Yeah. And then uh, a family of so a family of separates. Uh, I didn't see. Uh, should there be some uh, transport if you have? And to I mean, elements which are equal in the base, then you should be able to. Uh, you don't. Uh, you don't look at the equality on on setoids. 
I mean, uh, of course, if you, if you mean the identity type, then yes, you have a... a no, no, I mean, I mean, you have a set of it. You have a set of it in it or a set of it. So then you should uh, have a, 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 a task board along the indexing, the equality of the indexing set of it. This was on the next slide, I think. Uh, so you mean this? Uh, so this as a, as a satellite family? Next slide. Yeah. This one. Each one, yeah. Right. Yeah, also, only in the proof of relevant. I mean, okay. So you only look at proof of relevant yeah. ones. And yes. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, the well, Wallermann is somehow, so a set, I mean, uh, so, so in a way, we define satellites, so in a way, in the end, you want to do everything with satellites, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but then you, you, you can observe that satellites themselves give rise to a new type theory, which is the type theory which has externality principles built in. Yes. And, and actually, I think this is related uh, to these cubicle models that we, we discussed, because in a way, uh, this cubicle interpretation is sort of satellites on, on steroids, right? Uh, where we, where we have like, I mean, yes. uh, uh, satellites, but infinitely often, yeah? yeah. But, uh, but in a way, I mean, what, what you describe is sort of the implementation of this model, but then you really want to work in the type theory where, where uh, satellites are sort of hidden, right? I, I, I hope. Right? You uh, really want to work with satellites. Right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Why not? Because this is, I mean, this is like, okay, I can ask the programmers, do you work to work in assembly languages? And some enthusiastically say yes, but I think there's something wrong with them. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, can you just answer on the argument uh, in the categorical? Uh, I, I, uh, I believe so. Say, I mean, by I think, using doctrines and the oh, also, uh, yeah. uh, I think that the most straightforward translation is to, to this homotopy exact completion, which is a, a very faithful rendering of this uh, uh, mm -hmm. set of construction in categorical terms, I believe. Uh, but then from, from there... Uh, because then I can understand everyone. So there was a question of uh, W type for the group point model. Mm -hmm. uh, can this be used? Uh, yeah, I don't know. So the, the, the point is that satellites are, are not quite as groupoids. Yeah, but so, so you have, I mean, it's satellite yeah. is proof. Uh, I, I mean, I... I didn't think about that, but it's uh, it's possible. And my student Jakub Wittmann has shown that W does proof of the Yes, that's why I've seen the same story before. No? And, uh, yeah, yeah, do you have an implementation in Yeah, Yeah, this is all very far in the And uh, for example, for me, I'm interested in if you can transfer it in the minimalism. Uh, foundation, yeah. but uh, I don't have the XI rule on the underlying uh, type theory, so I was you, looking. Well, I mean, that's, I think, built in in the talk, so I don't yeah, know but if, uh, one should check it's, not, uh, it's not easy to, to tell right now uh, if, if it's using that, but it's... Uh, this is a curiosity, because uh, I, I, don't I don't think, think it would probably think, be used, yeah. but the check... Yeah, so yeah, so one never knows. Uh, 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 has shown that you have W types in the group or in model. Yeah. You have the same uh, assumption about meta language for to implement it all in a meta language of intentional type theory. Uh, no, we have not considered group points in type theory when working in some constructed type theory. Right. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. we're just assuming W types in the meta theory by working in extension. But it's possible that similar definitions could work uh, on top of intention. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, I think in yeah. some aspects, but in some others, it's mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So in your definition of septoids, you don't require the equivalence relation to the block value. No, yes, they are they are but padded uh, in the universe. So I mean, I they are type padded. A few years ago, when I was a PhD, I played a little bit of septoid models in ACTA, and mm -hmm. I tried to show that it forms a CWF category with families. And at some point, I remember that I had to require this uh, equivalent relation to this block value. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm wondering, do you, have you shown that your E category of septoids also 
on the model of that theory? Uh, no, I, I haven't tried that. I don't know if Eric has some more comments in that direction. Sorry. I also don't understand the question. If you can prove that the, this E category of setoids has the structure of a CWF or CWA or something. Well, that is working for us. Here's what you do. I mean, we did high types because we go along with high type, we get something which is a different proof. Yeah. Uh, so we destroy it. Yeah, the, the trick, trick to do is. Sorry, no, that, that's right. What you can do is you can embed. Uh, and uh, take the set of it that comes from constructive set theory, and they will all be well behaved. So, um. uh, let's see. It's the CWS model based on set of it, but very particular ones. Um. Yeah. And you should observe that we use a different notion of set of it than the standard one in code, in co right? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> in fact, there is. Yes, yes, this, is, this was the, the, the point of the question. Yeah, right. But I think in, in a way also overcomes this problem, this propositionality by constructing, by only considering as uh, non-dependent uh, families, right? I mean, uh, which so the next step. Uh, oh, the proof of the yes, yes, yes. So in a way. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's really important yeah. if, you, if you want to say at the set level. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, from from the from the internal point of view of the category, you're not losing anything because those are precisely the the setoid of fibers of your extensional functions. So, no. though, though in some sense, those are precisely the kind of families you want to talk about. Sure, yeah. Yes. Because the, the equality on the fiber is just the equality on on the setoid B. It doesn't take into account the, the proof of the equality. Another theory of why one might want the proof relevant ones is that if one sees setoids as locally co-discrete groupoids, yeah. then these are the functions from those in the sets. Yeah. And so right. from a groupoid it might be as natural to it. Yeah. In the opposite direction, maybe some of the difficulties will disappear if you stick to centroids whose carrier is an H set, mm -hmm. and uh, as he suggested, the equivalence relation is our H prime in H props, and then mm -hmm. yeah, that's, some of this that's something that can be tried. Yes. Should be an SF category then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's an exact completion of something else, actually. The, the category of H sets. The category of set or is built out of H sets and H of value to be less Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we should know this. Yeah. I think that's an exact completion. Yeah. 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 I mean, you also have an element of the future, which you call us from this example. If everything is in H-sets, then, but, the, then, the, but then I mean, you the, the projectives of pure types are close to the final limits, so it's just a normal next condition. Uh -huh. yeah. But the, the proje how do you get the projectives? Um, you need some prop value identity. Or? Ah, they, they are not always portions. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, are they all portions? Yeah. Oh. Maybe this is the question. So yeah. Which category are we looking at? H sets. H sets. No, but you want to set or it's in H sets. Right? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. If you just take H sets, that's not an exact completion. It's not projected. Mm -hmm. You know, the objects are not projected. But if you take the set or it's, well, I guess we want to up down the set or it's yeah. on H sets. That would be a, a X rank conclusion, isn't it? Well, it's a six 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 inside the X set. Six inside the X set. And so the projectives will be just a color. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 